Well, this is Tim and Lisa Miles, and uh, we've been members here at Overcoming Faith Christian Center for 19 years. And we've got five children, and if you've come to the church, you've seen them someplace. And one of the things that's really great about this particular ministry is not only does Pastor talk about what it needs to be and what you need to do to be successful, but he implements that, and especially with St. Paul's Preparatory Academy. All of our children have attended St. Paul's. Uh, our two oldest daughters are both seniors in college this year, and uh, they're both going to graduate, graduate on time. And one of the things that's very important in our house, so the House of Seven, is peace. And, you know, you only get peace when you can avoid confrontation. And our children are going to a school where it is an arm, it is a continuation of what we're being taught here at the church. We don't have to worry about our kids and whether they're being taught right or influenced correctly. And it is our pleasure to spend the money to get them the basis that they're going to need to be successful in life. It is really neat for our daughters to come home from college and to tell us that they could easily identify situations and circumstances that they needed to avoid. How is that possible? Well, it's only possible because they learned from a small age the basics of life, truth versus a lie. And that's what's being taught here at St. Paul's Preparatory Academy. One scripture that always sticks in our mind and um, means a lot to me is in Genesis 18, 19, where the Lord says that he has chosen Abraham because Abraham will direct and command his household after him and that he will bless Abraham in doing so. And I feel like in our walk with our children, um, putting them first, that, that we have always had our needs taken care of. We may not have the fanciest car, we may not have the fanciest house, but our children are where they need to be and God has always seen to it that um, we were taken care of. They've always gone to summer camp. They, they have never wanted um, for things that, that maybe you might be questioning. You might be sitting there saying, um, we can't do that, that's not in our budget. That is huge. Well, you know, the mall is full of, of um, people in the parking spots right now. People spend money on what they wanna spend money on. And so I would just encourage you, as you have learned to tithe, and as you have learned to set that money aside in your budget, just take a step out there in faith. When we needed a car, a car was brought to us. No monthly car payment. When our 16-year-old daughter turned 16 and, and we wanted to bless her with a car but couldn't, a car was given to her. And so God will definitely take care of you and your needs when He sees that you're taking care of His business. And His business is the next generation and His business is the kids to come, to grow up in the future. And so we feel so strongly about this. And you know, at first we tried to keep up with the Joneses and don't do that because that only got us in trouble. You just keep going and don't care what people think about you or maybe your possessions because your children in Proverbs, it says that your houses will be filled with rare and beautiful treasures. And we believe that the children are the rare and beautiful treasures. We want our kids to be well educated and we want them to be well married. Well, right now it's the education part and our kids have got a fantastic foundation and base so they can go out into that world and they can compete uh, academically, they can compete athletically, but most of all they can compete spiritually and they can compete morally and they're going to be able to do great things in their life because the little devil's not going to be on their shoulder saying, hey, you remember when you did this? You remember when you compromised there? Well, St. Paul's does not compromise and if you want a place where you can drop your kids off and know that from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock at night if they're involved in athletics, they've got somebody that's motivating them spiritually, morally, and in every way to move in the right direction to be successful in this life. And these seasons are short. Um, it may seem like we can't do that payment over all these years. There's no way. That's too many years. These seasons are so short. And I mean, we can see that because now we have two that are about to graduate college and we still have um, a senior here, a seventh grader here and a second grader here. 
And, you know, it may seem like we're going to be here forever with Christopher, you know, trying to get Christopher out from second grade. But I know, because seeing Chelsea and Megan already grown, these seasons are short and you must have patience. The cars, the house, that'd come, that'd be there later. That's just fine. But the kids are now. <laughs>